It's Hyper Halloween. So, inherently, there's going to be some spillover with the way I set up this year's lists, if you haven't already seen that. A lot of found footage style films I watched are extremely low budget, that is, someone filming all the action on a single camera. As I mentioned in my intro video, I wasn't able to fit all the movies I wanted to talk about into a single week. In any case, today's low budget slash so bad it's good film is 2016's Bad Ben. Producer, writer, director, and actor Nigel Bach shot the entirety of Bad Ben on a handheld camera and security cameras that he installed throughout his house. It's an ambitious idea, and I think it really pays off. The plot is very simple. Nigel Bach plays Tom Riley, a man that begins experiencing paranormal activity in his newly purchased house. This paranormal activity is getting in the way of his ability to flip the house. At first, Tom Riley thinks that there are people breaking into his house, which causes him to install security cameras throughout his house. In order to capture the hooligans, he begins to film everything he can within the house. He even uses his phone to record as well. It turns out that hooligans are not to blame at all, and there appears to be something paranormal in his basement that may be linked to a spirit called Bad Ben. Throughout the movie, ghostly things happen and increase in occurrence and intensity as the film progresses. Which is pretty typical for these haunted house style films, if I'm being honest. And that's the plot in a nutshell. The film is mostly Tom Riley walking around his house for a majority of the film. Actually, fun fact before I move on, the house that Bach filmed in was actually his own house on Steelmanville Road in New Jersey. In fact, Steelmanville Road is the name of his second film. Bad Ben was made on a shoestring budget, and, as I mentioned before, it's incredibly ambitious. I think I saw that the budget was $300 for the film, which is honestly really awesome. Despite having such a small budget, Nigel Bach does a great job with the filming and editing of this film. You do get some cool effects in this film for the little budget it has, and again, it's great. Bad Ben has garnered a cult following since its release, and Nigel Bach has produced 10 sequels that delve into the backstory, side stories, and even parallel universes. Honestly, I love how ambitious Nigel Bach is with this series. Nigel also really keeps things fresh in each movie, and they all have a distinct feel to them. In fact, Nigel even reaches out to the fans from time to time for their input, which is also awesome. I've watched through most of the sequels, and while they do tend to be all over the place, I really enjoyed them for what they were. There are some that were great, and others that were just okay in my opinion. There are a few movies that focus on other characters unrelated to Tom Riley, and those are the ones that I think are just okay. Don't get me wrong though, they're still good films, so I do recommend watching them. Honestly, Nigel Bach is the standout, and I really enjoy watching him with his style of humor in all the Bad Ben films. Again, Bad Ben is really ambitious, and I love the entire series. Nigel Bach is great in each film that he's in, and I enjoy watching him explore his house and getting into all types of hijinks in his other films. Bad Ben, the movie and the whole series for that matter, isn't for everyone, but this horror comedy series really checks a lot of boxes for me, so I can't recommend it enough. Go watch Bad Ben. <laughs>